Hey guys, Cameron over at 816 Diesel. I'm bringing you a cold start walk around video today. We're in Kansas City, it's about 60 degrees this morning. It's a beautiful day out. We're gonna be cold starting up this 05 Chevy Silverado LLY Duramax 6.6 .6 2500 LT crew cab short bed. Uh, super cool truck, a lot of customization. So we're gonna be going over quite a bit of stuff today, but let's hop right into it. Uh, truck's been parked out here in the parking lot for quite some time now. It is about as cold as it's going to get on a 60 degree day. Uh, leather's in great shape. No rips or tears coming in. There's a little tiny one right there in the back piece. Uh, it's an LT console truck. Power everything. Hard loaded with the options. Like I said, a lot going on with this Duramax. So we're going to try to cover it all in a timely manner. While answering all your questions. 271935. So she's got some miles. You can see she's cold there and cold there. Truck fires up with no problems. Let me just be the first to tell you this is a well built Duramax. It's got some miles on it. Someone put some love into it. Uh, I tracked down the previous owner actually. His name's on the title. So if you come check out this truck, you're more than welcome to see our conversation. Um, but he traded it in and he told me he regretted selling it. When he bought the truck, he got it from a guy who built the transmission and put injectors in the motor. Um, this is what I learned from the previous owner. I already knew by driving it originally that it had a built trainee and injector work of some sort, tuning. It's the thing giddy up and goes, and it shifts really nice and solid and firm. Uh, it doesn't miss a shift or do anything weird. It's just a, you know, it's not a stock truck by any means, but it feels great. So I got on Facebook, tracked him down, told me he regretted selling it. One of the best trucks he's ever owned. Went over the modifications that I just mentioned. Said he didn't have any paperwork to prove it, but you know, kind of one of those deals that sure as heck drives like it has it. So that's where we're at with it, guys. I can tell you it does, but I don't have the paperwork to show you when it was done or what exactly was done. He told me it was supposed to be 30 over injectors and a full built transmission. So word for word, that's all I can tell you. Uh, Kenwood Double Den, nice head unit with Bluetooth, iPod, all that good stuff on there. Um, ice cold AC, it's dual, con dual climate control. Um, push button four wheel drive. We do have a set of auto meter gauges on this one. We've got boost and pyro, so you can watch your EGTs and turbo. And you got a microphone for your Bluetooth up here as well. Um, it's got the steering wheel controls, but those are inactive due to the aftermarket radio that was not hooked up. Trailer brakes down here. LT, power windows, locks, mirrors, and they are paint to match mirrors. Professionally done. Heated seats. Uh, all the good options. Seating for five. It's got the console in the middle with the radio connections on the back side of it. Charcoal leather all throughout. Tinted windows. It's got the compass mirror in it. Really nice truck. So. We put a new windshield in it. We serviced the front end. We did wheels and tires. We didn't do a whole lot to this truck. I mean, it had a lot of this stuff going on when we bought it. We just kinda, you know, gave it a fresh start basically. Uh, but with that being said, it's a well-built truck. Let's pop the hood, walk around, check out the body and kinda see what else is going on with this bad boy. Oh, this hood, let me tell you, it's got a big old Ram Air hood on it. I mean, this thing is sweet. It's not fiberglass, it's a nice unit. No pressure. LLY Duramax. No blow by. Nice clean truck, nice clean boots. Cold air intake. What do we got? Is this K &N or is that an S &B? It's a K and N. Brand new set of batteries on her. I didn't clean it up, so you can tell. That's the way I got it. Oh, and this truck has ARP headstuds. I forgot to tell you that. Full MBRP 4 inch exhaust, AFE intake, and it does have ARP headstuds to go with the injectors and built trans. Plug. 
but no cooling issues on this LL line, no overheating, no pushing coolant, no pressure. I mean, it's a studded truck, so it doesn't get much cooler than that. Black logo on the front. We did a brand new set of smoked headlights. They're not the super dark ones, but they do have some smoke to them. Uh, front bumper's in pretty good shape. It's not caved in or dinged up or anything. Super clean truck all in all. Uh, 20 by 9 Mayhem wheels. They're brand new. These Duramaxes don't clear the big wheels as easy as the Fords. And we didn't want to key it up or mess with the suspension at all. So stock height, brand new Mayhem 20s. Brand new 285, 55, 20 tires. These amp, these amp tires are more of an all-terrain. They look like the BFG. They have a 60,000 mile tread warranty. So great piece of rubber on these wheels. 60,000 miles. Like I said, the mirrors are professionally paint to match and cleared. They got some rock chips in them. That was done by the previous owner. Man, the side of this truck is super clean. Not, there's not a lot to show you. Um, there is some bed liner on the bottom of the truck. Some rust down there in the past, maybe. Nothing terrible, but there is some. The frame isn't rusty at all. We, you know, we didn't touch it at all. That's how we got it. It's got a little mud on it. We do have a fast fuel pump right here. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. That is a fast fuel lift pump. I believe it's a 150 titanium. Uh, bed rails, got some mud on them, but no rust. And what truck doesn't? Surface rust, but no crumbling. They're actually in really nice shape for a Chevrolet. That was a nice bed rail, so. B&W turnover ball on the bed, smoked LED tail lights, smoked LED third brake, straight bumper, AFE badge on the tailgate. Like I said, it's got an MBRP. That's a five inch exhaust, so it's a, uh, it's not quiet, it's a nice sounding Duramax, I'll tell you that. There's a little crease in the flare for nicking something right there, not quite sure what happened. Again, cap corners, they've been bedlinered and white to match. It's actually a really nice truck. There's no dents or dings or anything to show you except for kind of what we've covered so far. Cold AC, LED lights up top. A lot of the modifications were already done on this truck. Like I said, we went through the front end, put some wheels and tires on, smoked the lights out, put our little touch on it. But this is a well-built Duramax. Heated seats, power locks, mirrors. All in all great condition. But you're getting a lot with this truck, a studded Duramax. Uh, with a known built trans instead of injectors. Like I said, I don't have paperwork on any of it um, But I can share the exchange between me and the previous owner super cool truck guys uh, If you're interested do not snooze on this one Duramax like this I can guarantee you what on black leather is not going to sit for long So head over to 816diesel.com. That's our website. Check us out You're going to find all the information I just covered today over on the website uh, you're going to find pictures, pricing, VIN number. Any questions you might have should be answered there. If not, give us a call. 816 Diesel. We're downtown Kansas City. 816-298-7030. That's the shop number, landline. Uh, my cell, 913-735-3748. My name's Cameron. I'm one of the owners. I'm happy to answer any questions or set up an appointment for you to come check it out. Uh, but that's it, guys. I appreciate all your time. I'm going to go drive this and do some pictures for you, and I hope to see you soon. Thanks. Bye.